Oh my gosh! Hey, we're back in the kitchen with Lori Taylor. How, How are you? I'm good. Yes, I, I know. Love your segments, by the well, way. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure to be here. Can you believe I have been cooking on? Uh, Wish TV for nine and a half years now. <gasps> I can't believe that. You That's started when you were three. <laughs> I know. I have yeah. literally grown up here, right? Um, I think your segments are and some of the best. So on here's the show. a really good fun fact too. Mm -hmm. I have never repeated a recipe. That's really that okay, speaks now that's... to how how much there really is to do with fruits and veggies. Okay. Yeah, in the garden, okay. right? Yeah, absolutely. You and I speak the same language for sure. Absolutely. And this time of year, I don't know what it is, but my appetite gets. <laughs> is the word like voracious or ferocious? I mean, I just all I want to do is eat this time of year. Well, I think it's part of the season change, right? I think, yeah. What are we making today? Okay. That I can. So, eat? <laughs> well, okay. we're sticking. That's stirring. exactly what you want, okay, Patty. It's stirring. good. Just keep stirring. We can dial down the heat here. Oh. So you're making the base for the granola bars. So there's a picture of the finished granola bars. Okay. And that's we're not going to be, be able to get all the way that step because right. it, you got to cool them in your fridge for about two hours. Okay. You're doing great, Patty. Okay, so I made a very classic cheese ball, and there is oh. no good way to prep a cheese ball, okay? My hands are gonna get messy here, but I've got helpers in the kitchen, so it's all good. Yeah. In this cheese ball, it's just one block of cream cheese, mm -hmm. some goat cheese, salt, pepper, garlic, and some fresh green onions, and some smashed up pecans. I didn't even chop them. Okay, but I, the goat man, cheese. Man, man. Pecans. And the goat cheese in the cheese ball I love. Yes, love same, that idea. same. Okay, so it's really simple, a minimal amount of ingredients, very affordable ingredients. And then a lot of times since we put the nuts in the cheese ball, we're actually going to roll it in dried fruit. So this is Amazon's number one dried fruit brand, family-owned farm. I've actually been there. Oh, how cool. And I've seen the sun-dried process that they do in, in California with these fresh fruits. Yeah. Family-owned. All right, so this is oh, I love that. something that... Nine years ago, I never would have done this on TV because it's too Let's messy. Let's do it. Let's All do right. it. Just go for it. Right? Yeah. Totally. I'm here to it's support. It's Halloween. No, this is my it... version of the of the Scream Park makeup. Three women in the kitchen. What can go wrong? Nothing. All right. right. And so see how these dried blueberries give it kind of like that black appearance? Oh, that's cool. And um, so it's kind of a fun, festive, Halloween-style cheese ball here. Okay? Oh! Shh. Oot! What happened? Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely not. Get out of here. Oh, oh, my gosh. I thought so. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I, can't, I can't get into the okay, oven okay, until keep they going, move. Keep okay. Going. Focus on that. All right. So. Oh, my <laughs> God. I can't even. I am going to cuss on TV. This is live, people. What are you thinking? I am co host today. Get the clouds out of here. Coast. All this right. Is not. Oh, God. My okay. Oh, my bubble. So, we've got our Halloween cheese ball. Okay. No clowns in the kitchen, okay? And speak for yourself. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. That looks... Are they gone? Okay, I can focus. This yes. looks great. Okay, this blueberries. Fun. And then that's dried blueberries that we rolled it in. And then you can just... These are my favorite apple slices. So if you want to arrange those and then I'll grab, I'll grab the oats out of the oven. Okay, wait. I love this because I don't have to slice them. They're already in the lemon. They're not going to brown. Arrange oh, them or dump them. If I didn't know those were blueberries, I had a bunny rabbit and a cat. No, I'm going with <laughs> <laughs> Now that would be a real Do you think, okay, you think Patty, what I just about did when I saw those clowns? This is coming through. Oh okay. My gosh. Oh, All right. Yeah. So this is how easy it is. All I did, I took some oats, some nuts, and we, we slow cooked them in the oven for about 10 minutes, 350 okay. degrees. Fantastic. The mixture Patty has here is just butter and some honey. Honey? honey. Oh, yep. honey. That's honey. what I Butter smell. and honey. And then if you would like to add any spices or yeah. if you want to add... Um, a little bit of vanilla extract. This is this like is this. like consider this your master recipe. Okay, great. Okay? Two and a half cups oats. Perfect. Add a cup of nuts, and then you do. And then what do we dump on it? Yeah, and then you you put this on it. So awesome. you want to, and you can I, use a big mixing bowl if you'd like. But do I do this now? Yeah, you sure can. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Now this is the scary part. Okay. This is really scream part. And so everyone knows on the Produce Moms Facebook page and yes. on our Instagram. We actually shared this story today, or this recipe in our stories today. Watch out. Oh, look, look at, at how that. good Here you're doing. Goes. Oh, Patty, now that's hot sugar. That's hot sugar. No, it I'm literally not, is. That's hot that's sugar. I'm hot sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are, Mama. Uh, I love it. All right, please be careful. You are scaring me. This is a scary day. Hey, maybe I could be a shit. No. You did okay, great. Martha, Martha Spittler. <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like it. This I'm is perfect. Awesome. You did so good. Awesome. All right. And then you just mix it up real good. Okay, oh, and then the next step, Randall, be, this is looking amazing. You 
once it cools a little bit, all right? So we're not going to be able to demonstrate this end to end okay. because No, but we'll taste it here yeah. in a minute. Oh so my once gosh. it cools, you can mix in the dried fruits. I did dried cherries. Look at these gorgeous dried cherries. Those, those are, are beautiful. also Let me see one of those. from Sunrise Fresh <laughs> from Amazon. And and then you can also smash. I did some mini chocolate chips on this one. Mm. All right. And this is like a nine by nine pan. It's perfect size for this. Lori, that's gorgeous. Randall, we're going to eat some of this in a bit, right? And then for Halloween, oh I've got, perfect. so here's a way that you can make them kind of fun and festive for Halloween. You can actually, instead of cutting them with a knife, you could use your favorite cookie cutter. I love it. Are you yes. going to make these, Randall? Oh, yeah. And this is Come on. I want some of that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. 